This lesson is about text regions and categories. Where can you find this? Under admin, you go to finance, accounting and invoicing, and there's a section, tax regions and categories. Now I'll go, no, you guys don't like the taxes, but unfortunately you have to set up the taxes in Autodesk. Uh, it of course will run uh, without the tax, but ultimately you need to uh, place an invoice or send a, a, a quote to somebody. And some people do want to have the, the taxes on there or the VAT, how it's sometimes called in different countries. Um, it would be recommended, however, to also consult with your CPA or your accountant, however your tax advisor calls uh, itself in, in your particular country or your region, because it could be that you have different setups. I noticed a couple of complicated setups also in, in the United States with, uh, with their counties and their uh, provinces and their states. I'm going to give you a couple of examples how you could set it up. But again, consult with your, uh, your CPA or accountant and also depends on where you have your true invoicing and accounting being done. Some people do the invoicing from Autodesk and then it's being exported to an accounting system where all the taxes are properly, correctly applied and calculated. Uh, to start off here, what we would recommend is that you start first with a couple of simple regions. I'm going to make an ex uh, example, for example, for Holland, we have a high region. And I'll make that well, the default one. We'll have a, we have a low one. And a lot of times you also have a uh, export or overseas and you call it export. So now we have our defaults uh, set up as the high. We have our active ones and let's see if the VAT maybe we can. Now we inactivate it because we're not going to use it. You might also be able to delete it. And we have our categories. That's where you can see the VAT too. You have to put a new category and we also label that one as a high one. So you can match them together and then you can associate your different kind of work types all with it and your billing codes and material codes. Uh, let's say your, um, what would be a good one? Shipping might be applicable to the, to the high tax rate and all your taxable products uh, probably too. Uh, recurring revenue, like over here, you can see there's already billing codes uh, combined with the tax category. That's later on. We still have to go in there and uh, modify those ones. But first, before you can do it, you have to have some tax code. So that's why by default, there's a general tax code VAT in there. We're now going to set up those tax categories. And then later on, with these billing codes, we can apply also the correct tax code on that end. I save and close. Now we have that one associated too. And that's how you can associate whatever code is there. Now, the tricky thing is, of course, hey, you didn't put a tax rate in there. That's correct. Now, here we have this high one with already that new category of high. And now in here, we can place the VAT uh, or exactly the, the correct uh, taxes. And we do that like here, add tax. In this case, I'm going to call it again high to make sure that we have the same naming convention. And I know in this case, it's the rate. It's two and a half, uh, 21 and a half percent. And then in this case, you could just press another X and then it will be added. So this would be kind of a setup for, for Holland. What we've seen in other countries, uh, that's, for example, they do it by, uh, by state. So we can, for example, put in here uh, Texas. And for Texas, we can also add the region here. And then we click over here and we add the tax rate. And then we call it Texas. And I know that is, for example, 8.25. Press save there go out here and then we have that one set up too. So a couple of examples for uh, multiple scenarios. Again, consult with your uh, CPA or accountant to make sure you have the proper VAT codes in there and you have the proper region set up. You might be uh, able to just get away with a kind of a simple setup in here. So it listed uh, correctly on the quotes and on the invoice and that you do the true taxation in your invoicing system. Like I said, I noticed some countries have specific uh, county setups in even, and that's very detailed. And it could be very dependent on what county you're being taxate, uh, taxed on, and you might need to have a special taxation software. So again, consult with your uh, tax advisor. But in this case, this would be a, a standard setup that would work out of the box for pretty most, uh, most MSP setups. If you have questions, comments, leave that on our Facebook group, and we'll get back to you.